what we're about to see on our screens right now as a classic set is about to play out in winner's finals of Kulon 10. We're going to see Ashimo take his turn to bat up against the world number one of Akola, and they're already playing like they want to be playing. Let's go. The walls are out. Um, 26% though. I don't know if Shaku breaks blocks that consistently. I haven't watched this matchup enough to know, but I feel like if it did, then that'd be pretty useful. Oh my god, taking it so oh. far off. I mean, I think if you if we if we you know refer back to the set against uh, Umeki from earlier, I mean turnips at least were virtually yeah. useless. Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. tough. I, I would have thought, you know, surely Ryu has at least broken a couple of wooden blocks in his time in his training, right? I, that really didn't seem like he'd been, you know, beating anything but a pillow. Um, that's a, <laughs> that's such oh an unfortunate... Oh my god! Oh. That was nasty. Can you slow down a bit there, Cooler? I know it's game one, but you know, you need to cook the man so fast right up on the bat. All of these combos and all these kill confirms are just absolutely insane right now. Playing out of his mind is a cola. World number one for a reason. Ashmo going to have to really pick up the pace if he wants to, you know, see any sort of luck in this set. We barely even had the uh, the overlay set up by the time that uh, stock number one was taken. So the fact that stock two was taken so quickly after. Okay, jab, jab, Shoryuken. It's a classic. It's worked since day one as well. Oh no. Oh, what do you oh, do? Oh! Magnet hands, you are... Wow, <laughs> thank you so much. Ooh, nice combo there. You can tell that one's practice just finding it on the anvil, falling straight from the air. Able to hit Akola in a good spot, but that up smash yeah. placed in an even better spot. Akola taking game one within the first two minutes. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> Those first what? two stocks were so devastating. Absolutely. It, it just felt like such a write-off, I think, for game one after losing a stock to the footstool down air um, on the platform as an insane follow-up, too. Oh, man. Are they still talking to each other? Are they still the commentator trying to say something? I don't know. The man with the microphone came up to the stage, but I'm not sure what he wanted. It's like, hey, that wasn't a button check, was it? They, they, yeah. they just want to make sure that it was actually a game that counted for uh, and Ashimo just dips his head and says, yeah, that was game one. All right. Uh, <laughs> that was a competitive we'll we'll game, right, guys? Like, I'm not sure if I could call it that. I mean, Ashimo we'll just like a soft, but going to be a little more competitive in this game, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, so many resources burned by Ashimo just to try and get back onto the stage. I, I think, you know, like, defensive options from Ryu are kind of few and far between. You've got the focus as a decent option, but when you've got the, the little, you know, flame block, the little down tilt off the ledge, that's a multi-hit that's just going to cut through pretty much everything. Um, and oh, everything in between, too. Okay, oh, SDI in, actually, I think, looked like it really worked out in, uh, in Akula's favor. It was a beautiful way. We had a couple of like unconventional oh. drops there from Akola and his confirms, but one man who's never going to be missing his confirms is Ashimo. Going to be able to find the nice little classic jab, jab, sure you can. It's the one stock he found in the last game. It's the stock he find here in the first, but no lead going on punished. Akola bringing it all the way back right now. I mean, I think if you're Ryu, you kind of live and die by these confirms. Like, that's really the only way that you're going to be taking stocks um, when these openings are going to be so few and far between. Um, but Bro. the footsies, I think, is still definitely possible. Having that uh, auto turnaround, always going to be facing Steve. Um, but, I mean, Steve is always going to be facing away because they're up tilting the whole time. So I don't yeah. really know uh, if, that's a, if that's a benefit or if it's really just, you know, just a part of the game, I guess. Really? Oh, it's a scary yeah, I want to call oh, it out wow. a bit of a micro situation before, but as Akola was trying to come back to the stage against the, uh, the, with the Shukunets, like the big powerful fireball, he's able to swat away with just a jab. He really knows how to recover against this character, how to edge guard against this character. He has all the practice of, of any top player in the world against Ashimo or against Ryu, specifically probably against Ashimo. I feel like Akola just has so much experience here. He knows everything. It's really hard to find a mix up here if you're Ashimo, but you need to find a lot if you're taking the set. Recovery, just barely made it. Yeah. You're also really abusing the power of this gold, uh, the gold tools too. Um, having up tilt, having forward smash. Uh oh, oh, okay, still surviving. <laughs> Got a bit of meat on the bones. Oh, oh how what do you get that? around it? <laughs> that was a wild recovery from Ashima. Oh, yeah. okay. well. Ah, oh, jeez, yeah, really a massive Hail Mary there from the Shoryuken. It was either kill or be killed, and uh, did not work in the way that he wanted it to. That's a quick going up to a moment. Mm -hmm. 
the mental stack on run now that Cole is providing is just completely out of this world. So many blocks, so many hitboxes, so many things for Ashimo to work his way around. And he's going for the Pyramithra pick oh, on game three. Akola. You... I mean, I guess it's because of the dog. <laughs> Don't have a nice word to say here for him, but he's just saying, you know what, Ashimo? I'm taking games with my Steve. I want some practice against you with my Pyramithra. You mind if you give it to me here in yeah. game three? I got some room to work with. I mean, Alex, you brought it up earlier that, uh, you know, this was a, a Smash Mate classic. Um, so yeah, yeah. I, I wonder how often we've really seen it in, uh, you know, on the on the world stage, you know, on uh, on, a, on an offline setting. Yeah. Um, I mean, it definitely feels pretty polished so far. Hollow Bastion seems like it's really going to be quite good for Ashimo. Um, but uh, nonetheless, down tilt. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Okay. Ledge trapping is going to be quite hard here. Oh, Lord. Mm. Yeah, that center platform is so good to get like downer combos on as Pyramithia, or as Pyra specifically. <laughs> yeah, the downer just covering the entire platform. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it, you know that is that is stage control if I've ever seen it. Oh, nice! Falling there, run up down to Shoryu. Mm -hmm. Clean little confirm. He finds a spot to find his stocks, and you're gonna need it. It is three games you have to take against a call here, and you can only imagine he's probably only gonna have the Pyramithia out for two if it doesn't go this way, but. The more he has the chance to swing with this character, the warmer they're gonna get. That down air, flaming hot forward air, just not gonna find its mark. Ashimo's spacing at the moment really well. I think, yeah, holding on to this lead is gonna be completely imperative. And uh, yeah, the back air, I think, is gonna be completely sealing the deal there. Um, this is, it's just gone from at least somewhat you know, controllable, I think, for Ashima. Having Rage, I think, is going to be such a big factor in this matchup. Because, like we've seen against the Steve, I think your openings against Pyramithra must be so few and far between as a, as a brawler like Ryu. Um, so making each opening count is going to be so important. Yeah. Oh, off stage though. Okay. Maybe? Yeah. Looking for a down air? Don't get it. I mean, when you have to put your body on the line like uh, like Ryu does, that, that must be actually quite a hard thing to consistently, you know, confirm into. Yeah. <laughs> It's a Xenoblade 3 or Xenoblade 2 mechanic, should I say. That foresight. A sneaky little addition to add. And you think you already gave it to Bayonetta, why not give it to another DLC? Yeah. Okay. Solid answer with the back out of shield. Still keep it, keeping de decent control in this match. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> the magnifying glass disappearing behind the overlay there. We definitely yeah, thought yeah, that yeah. that stock was taken super early. And on Hollow Bastion, you can lose those stocks so quickly. Mithra oh, God. All right. <laughs> settle down. Settle down. I mean, the kid playing on fire right now. Akola wanting to find this stock so he can bring it back to an even footing. A perfectly placed Duke in there from Ashley trying to cover from the ledge. Going to stop Akola's hits. No down there forward there. Not going to be enough. Edge guard with neutral B. Not going to be able to chip him off. It's definitely going to be a matchup check there, right? Just knowing what to do against that uh, multi-hit, uh, you know, uh, blazing edge. Uh, oh my gosh! Wow. But uh, Asuma, oh my, oh my Lord. god! Going so much shield pressure. <laughs> yeah, canceling forward with that focus. But the whole time playing it safe as well. Oh, oh my god! Almost hitting with the Ashimo Classic. We've seen him do that to players with this character before. Just hitting the recovery with an up air. But it's just going to be an up smash out of shield that allows Ashimo to take his first game in winner's finals. You know, that's that's one. But it is uh, yeah. on a call of switching characters. So, yeah. Can't imagine a situation like that is going to happen to him again. Instantly running it to FD. Probably switching back to Steve for this. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. So far at this point, you know, the fact that you can put down on your resume that you're taking the game off Akala, like that's that's pretty that's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter yeah. what the character was on the uh, on the yeah. final screen, you know. Who's to say? The history will say that the the, the winners finals was a three one. It was a close set. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. The watch we've seen so far, and uh, with this one game of uh, confidence though that Ashman was able to gain uh, from the character kind of pick up Akala. I have to see how it carries him in this uh, game four. Will he have that little bit extra gusto, the extra speed? These projectiles yeah. at the start are already showing it. Yeah, I mean he does have he does get confidence from that, but I don't think he he can get like ahead of himself with that, you know? Because he did get he he was down 0-2 to this Steve. 
Looking pretty good so far, though. Nice. If there's ever going to be a stage for a, for an FGC character to be able to at least make it a competitive game 5 set, it's probably going to be on FD. Um, just being able to control this entire space without having, uh, you know, the, the worry of, like, having platforms to camp under or, you know, having, uh, you know, any sort of extensions uh, from platforms here. Um, FD, it's nice and neutral. Oh, oh pressure on the shield! Yeah, nice. There you go. Damn. That's a definitive first stock from Ashimo. Mm -hmm. Super, super clean. Didn't get hit by any sort of combo from Akola yet. Even then, when he finds his falling up air, these tilts, Akola just not able to find a single combo here. It's just these stray hits. Ashimo's been playing really well around the Steve. Once more, if we can find a recovery. They want to make it back to the stage with the minecart going just above the fireball there. Oh, Unfortunate situation. We're still alive. Wait, making it through all the hitboxes there. Ashimo playing out of his mind. Yeah, excellent recovery. Oh, that missed. That yeah. definitely felt like uh, yeah, it was wanting an extension into some sort of stock taken. Uh, getting out of dodge there, Steve. Oh. Uh, I guess with the exception of the minecart, not necessarily the fastest of characters, nor can they really get super high super quickly. So Ashima actually, whoa, 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 hang on, wait, cancelling off oh. the blocks there. <laughs> yeah. Just pulling all the tech. The pace starts to slow down a little bit. I mean, you need, you need oh, so much tech to be able to stand a chance against this character. Steve is definitely a questions character, and I think Ashimo needs some answers. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's one. Oh, mm, nice. Sour spot. Close. That's not what you want to see here. Nice pair. Queen stocks taken, calling out the air dodges with the Tatsumaki. It might be the way to take stocks. It's how, it's how he took the first one as well. The Shoryuken's on the stage, just not quite reaching their mark. Nice call out for Recall though. It's his turn to combo, but Ashimo has been so good at just getting out of him this in, in this game. Oh, what a way to get off of the ledge! Hold yeah. on! Maybe the best answer they could have gone for. Overcommitment from Akala, and Ashimo is there to pick up the pieces with an up air into Shoryuken. Uh -oh. Uh oh, one of these situations though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man. So rough. The edge guard with the blocks that Akola loves to do, especially with these characters who kind of struggle in recovery situations. Ashimo now one stock in a dream to bring this one to a game five. Akola showing some weakness here. You know, you made that character switch. You had to switch your entire mental to these two sword characters, and now you're back to the block man. It's a lot of mental stuff you're putting on yourself and your opponent. These up tilts on shield. We have diamond. It's 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 Ashimo is under no means out of the woods yet, but with one more strong tatsu. No, that was no one for Never mind. <laughs> yeah, the the Kara cancel potentially just wanting to try and get a surprise. You know, I think just trying to just mm. scare Akola into a game five. Oh, <laughs> beautifully placed. Weaves around that. Is, that you know. That is not where you want to be standing if you're Steve. Standing on the back of that anvil usually feels like such a comfortable option. Um, but <laughs> Ashimo, he's got those massive meaty legs there. You've got to, you've got to watch oh, out for that. FD definitely felt like the answer. It was such a weird kill screen as well because he was still on the anvil, just like a couple yeah, of people still like moving shit. within it. That hit had no chance uh, that it was missing. It probably like extended, you know, him putting out that hitbox on the falling of Cola on that uh, on that anvil. Probably had a very good chance of landing. So very well placed from Ashimo taking this one to a game five on FD again. Interesting. Yeah. That feels like a massive confidence pick, I think, from Akula potentially. Mm. It was his stage pick that we saw for game four. He's going back to it again, but I feel like after, you know, how well you played against Ashimo in those first two games when you had the platforms to work with, you take him to FD, he cooks, and then you take him back. Interesting. Yeah. Not sure how I feel about that. This is also game five master, though. I call it the game five killer. Truly true. For sure. I mean, I think, yeah, just uh, it, there's there's definitely a level of boldness, I think, to be able to take someone to the stage that they just won on for what, honestly what looks like a potential reverse 3 0. Yeah. Um, uh, also, especially that it was with the, the main as well. You know, the Pyramithra definitely put away after game three, uh, but the Steve also being taken out and handled kind of quite nicely on FD. Mm.
I mean, the man's truly just saying, you know what, you didn't win that game, I just lost. So it's my turn to lock in, locking in with these down airs, it would take the first stock, and now, Akola gets to play this match with the lead, it's something we didn't see in the entirety of game four, so it's really yeah. up to Ashimo now to find his way in, find a stock, bring it back before Akola can just start running away. It almost feels like every single time Ashimo has a way in, they're always around Akola's crafting table. Like, just mm -hmm. see, like, honestly, like, enough to be able to, I'll oh, re-grab there, um, like, enough to be able to, uh, just, like, slow down the hits just a tiny bit, um, to go from true to untrue in those combos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so much patience from both players just staring each other down in the shield. No one wants to take the first hit. They know that they have a better chance when they're the one reacting. Nice forward air, but now you have a caller at 167. These rage smash attacks become so much more scary. It is Steve. He has a diamond. You know he doesn't want to pull it oh. out just yet. Not able to follow that disadvantage situation. Ashima is usually perfect at following them. Able to find a dash attack eventually, but sign stack against him, man. I think the patience from Ashimo definitely has to be commended, though. Being able to hold on to that uh, for as long as they did, but also not let the lead or not let the lead kind of, you know, snowball. Um, a really, really big deal against a character like Steve. Yeah. And to the point where they've actually managed to get it back to a complete even percentage. Oh, no. uh oh. Just kidding. Okay. Uh, two up fields and a forward air, and they are 40% down. Oh, man. Yeah, untackable. Untackable? Yeah, no way. Oh? Oh my oh, god. So much combo potential there on those breaking yeah. blocks. As if Ryu couldn't cancel his moves quick enough. Give him the extra blocks to play around with, it could have made a miracle happen. But oh, the diamond oh, familiarity not working in his favor. Oh, yeah. Man. Game 5 master. The Ashimo train has been completely derailed. Akla just put the brakes on that so, so well. Yeah. Damn! Game I five, Akala. I believe in it. I believe in it. Yeah. It exists. It exists. Man. And after such a good showing from Ashiro in that fourth game as well, it was really Akola just able to get the lead in the match. He took the first stock, and from there he was able to play his game. Uh, yeah. Which is just what the boy it's what the boy does. Yeah. He's gonna be sitting pretty in winner's side of grand finals. Other 